guys, I'm Miranda and welcome to Books 101. Today I'm discussing the second book in Michael Grant's Gone series, Hunger. The title pretty much explains it. Kids are hungry. It's been a bit more than three months since everyone over the age of 15 just disappeared. Food is in very short supply and Sam is the mayor of the town and he's starting to become really stressed. As you would be when you're dealing with 300 kids under the age of 15. Apart from being hungrier, more kids are starting to develop supernatural abilities and as well as the kids getting hungry, the darkness is becoming more hungry and is calling and manipulating more people. That's the end of the non-spoiler section. If you don't want to be spoiled, click out. If you do want to be spoiled or have read the book, keep watching. So yeah, the kids are pretty damn hungry in this book. Pretty understandable when you're trapped for three months in this dome. Quinn, you smart kid. This is exactly what I would do. If food's beginning to run out, I would go to that warehouse that they have and maybe get seeds to plant more food. And, and I would do what Quinn's doing. I would fish, even though I hate fishing and I, I don't like seeing the guts of the fish and cutting fish, but if, if this was survival strategies, I, I'd do it. Oh my god, I feel so sorry for Sam. People forget that he's only 15 and I can definitely understand why he gave up his job as being the mayor. I would too. The Zeeks. What the hell? Little worms that eat humans? What? It's getting even weirder this series, I tell you by the minute. Kane, after everything, still wants to dominate. Oh my god, that guy never gives up. He goes on this little rampage to take control of the nuclear plant so he can have control of the electricity. Kane, are you serious? I already know that's going to end badly. I hate that kid named Zill. Zill? Just accept that there are people that have powers. Hunter, who accidentally killed his friend. Now Zill wants to hang him. How old is Zill? Where did these kids get these ideas in their head? Like seriously, three months without parents and they're already starting to think about hanging other kids. And you find out that the darkness is a result of an accident at the nuclear plant where the meteorite hit. The virus on the rock plus radiation equals mutation. Ugh. And that's how they got their powers. Now this green blob wants to use Lana so she can create her body for it. Kane's reason to go to the nuclear power plant and try to take over is to get the uranium rod. He ends up sticking that rod through Drake, which is actually not that bad. I'm starting to think like them now. That's understandable because Drake is the most oh character you can ever have in a book. But the real question is, is Drake still alive? I have read lies. If you have not read lies, I will not tell you. My heart goes out to Duck. I feel so sorry for him. He had to have the worst power ever. Lana, apart from having to create a body for this green blob, she tries to blow up the mine shaft, but ends up getting brainwashed and controlled by this thing. Oh my gosh, poor girl. And that Gaia, Gaia Phage. Gaia Phage? Gaia Phage? I don't know. I'll just call it the darkness. I'll just call it the darkness or the green blob or the green force. So much easier. Albert's little dance club. That kid is smart. If you want a ticket into this club, you have to play with toilet paper and batteries. Smart kid. That's the end for my Hunger Book Talk. I hope you enjoyed it. To check out more book talks, just head to my channel. I'm Miranda. See ya.